So far, we have covered everything about the first step of business growth. Now that we know where we are, where we want to go, and we identify the gap, it's time to go to the second step. Second step is creation. We need to know what we need to create, how we can be innovative and create something new or create what we've been creating in a better way in order to be able to sell more and grow more. So first step would be our offer creation. If you're a service-based entrepreneur, you're gonna have offers. If you are product-based entrepreneurs, you're gonna have products, but also those products can be offered in different packages. So this will take us back to identifying our target market and ideal client, understanding our market and their needs and their wants and their pains and what's preventing them from achieving those aspirations and desires and dreams. When you understand your target market very well, you can design the best offer for them. When you are designing your offer, make sure that you're not keeping yourself in mind or your products or your services in mind. Pay attention to your target market and ideal client. You need to think about their needs. You need to fall in love with your ideal client so that you can add so much value to them that nobody else can do. And in order to be always on top of their mind, on top of their list and be their favorite, you need to constantly pay attention to what you're offering. You cannot offer one thing and keep offering that forever. You might in some cases, but in most cases, you need to be very agile and understand that their needs might change. Again, this will take us back to understanding the patterns. Pattern recognition is key. So you have to follow the trends, the patterns, understand them, utilize them in your offer. After creating your offer, you need to make sure that you do the pricing part right. In order to do pricing, I have to see that if I can help you with that on this series, because we have so many different scenarios, different products, different services. But the most important part is that you need to pay attention that you are definitely making money in the things that you're selling unless you're looking at that thing that you're selling as your marketing investment or any type of other in investments. Sometimes we're losing money by doing something, but that's actually an investment for another return. I will talk about return on investment, opportunity cost, future value. Like we will talk about all of these in future uh, videos. But for now, all you need to know and pay attention to is that when you do your pricing, you have to make sure that you understand the cost of that thing for you, cost of goods sold, cost of creating or preparing that service or product, you need, to under, you need to be able to calculate that and know that your pricing is aligned with that cost. If you want to have some profit, make sure that the, the selling price is higher than your cost. And if not, it's best to at least keep it equal, break even. Means no profit, but no luck. If you like this video, know that we dive deeper into details of everything and we talk about all the different ways of making more money at Cafe Society. Specifically this month, we talked about different ways of diversifying and making more money. If this is something that is interesting to you and you want to join, feel free to send us a message, reach out to us either here, give us your contact info or email us or message us on Instagram. Any way that you can find us, you can uh, message us. And we will include our information in the description of this video as well, so that you can reach us easily and um, we can give you more info on Cafe Society and we would love, love, love to have you. I cannot wait to see you live and in Cafe Society. See you next time. Bye.